Hey everyone, Ben here from North Country Outdoor Guys. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to look, be looking at the Z-Pack Spare Bagging Kit. This kit allows you to hang your food and other items from a tree to discourage a raid by bears and rodents. This kit will work with the popular PCT method of hanging a bear bag. I'll link to a video that explains the PCT method below. Uh, Z-Pax is an outdoor gear company that offers a range of lightweight camping gear from stuff sacks to tents. I'll link to z -Pax below too. That being said, I didn't get this kit directly from z -Pax. Instead, I bought it from Ma MassDrop. If you're not familiar with MassDrop, it's a website that uses the power of group buying to get lower prices on various items. Each offer is called a drop. Uh, I saved $10 on this kit by using MassDrop and I'll link to MassDrop below as well. A word of caution about MassDrop. The drops are not always a good deal, so you should have an idea of the price on other sites before commenting, sorry, before committing to a drop. And don't forget to include shipping and handling and tax if they apply. The kit retails for $50 plus shipping and handling on the Z-Pack site. The kit includes, let's see, A receipt. The clip includes the roll top food bag, which according to the Z Pack site weighs 1.5 ounces or 43 grams. 50 feet of 2 millimeter Z line slit cord, which weighs 1.7 ounces or 48 grams and a rock sack which weighs one ounce or 2.8 grams. And on here there's a mini carabiner that which weighs one ounce or 2.8 grams. The total weight of all components is 3.4 ounces or 96 grams. The dimensions when flat are 17 inches wide and 19 and a half inches tall or 43 centimeters by 50 centimeters. The volume is 850 cubic inches or 14 liters. The bag comes in either blue or green, 1.43 ounce per square yard Dyneema composite fabric or DCF, also formerly known as Coogan fiber. This is a lightweight fabric that was originally used for making sails for sailboats competing in the America's Cup. Someone figured out it was a good material for outdoor gear, and now it's used to make lightweight tarps, backpacks, and tents. Z-Pack says the included food bag has waterproof tape seams and a roll top to keep out the rain. It can easily stand up to the abuse of bear bagging heavy loads or pointy, pointy food items, and the material is even rodent resistant. DCF is an expensive fabric, so items made from DCF tend to be more expensive than, say, an equivalent item made of nylon. Z-Pax calls this rope Dyneema Z-Line Slip Cord, and they say it glides over branches better than lines with a polyester sheath. They use a 2 millimeter line because it is easier to handle and less prone, prone to tangling than thinner bear lines. Let's get a real life weight. So we're looking at 3 and 3 eighths ounces, which is 96 grams. Now let's compare that to my previous kit. If you've watched my camping videos, you may have seen this cobbled together setup. Uh, this food bag is, I believe, an 8 liter bag from a cheap set of dry bags from Walmart. My line is 50 feet of 1.75 millimeter zingit with a Dutchware titanium ridgeline beaner. and a rock sack. I've never weighed this, so let's see if I'm going to save any weight. So we're looking at 69 grams, or 2.38 ounces. Everyone wants to stay together. My previous bag is six liters, so smaller than the Z-Packs, so I'll have more than enough room for my needs. But I've got 30 packs of peanut butter crackers and four Spam Singles, 
and a bag of Tyson chicken here. So let's throw that into the bag to give you a visual idea of how big this bag is. So one bag of Tyson chicken. To note the Velcro seal on the bag. We got four spam singles going in and the crackers. I would have used uh, camp, my actual camping meals and whatnot, but uh, a while back Odin decided he was going to break into the food storage area and he ate all my dehydrated meals. So. So even with all that in there, so that room to roll it up and seal it. So that's quite a bit of food in there. So that was the Z-Packs bear bagging kit. Uh, we're at the middle of winter here in the North Country, and I don't do winter camping. So tune in once spring hits for a demo of the kit outdoors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.